Love Kids. It's another week and it's another project. This time we're going to be using origami paper uh, to, do, to make some origami bookmarks. They're very easy to make and I think you're going to like them, especially since a lot of us, since we're quarantining, are doing a lot more reading. So a bookmark would be a useful thing to have in the house. You can make them for your friends, for your parents, for your siblings. Um, things like this cute little piggy. These are the types of projects we're going to make today. I'll show you some others in a, in a little bit. What you're going to need is a nice collection of colored paper. This could be construction paper, or it could be origami paper, it could be computer paper. The important thing about this paper is that it should be a square. If you don't have square paper, you can cut paper to be a square by measuring it out with a ruler. Let's talk about the other things you're going to need for this project so that you can get started. You're going to need today some markers, some scissors, a pencil, that ruler that you're going to need, maybe a sharpie marker for nice black lines, maybe a hole punch, and most importantly, some glue, a glue stick. All right, I'll put those aside. Let me give you a demo on how to fold your paper properly. The fold for this project is the most important thing. So watch closely and I'll talk you through it. You're gonna take your paper and you're going to put it on the table like a diamond with the bottom corner facing your belly button. You take that bottom corner, you fold it up to match the top corner, and then you crease that paper so it turns out in this shape. What is this shape? Yes, it's a triangle. Next step, you take your right corner, bring it all the way up to the top corner, match those up, and then crease it. Next, the left corner, take it all the way up, to the top corner, make that match and crease it, and look at what you have. You have a diamond. Next thing I want you to do, open those shapes up, all right? You're gonna find that you have a little, you'll have two, you have two little corners here at the top. I want you to take that top paper, bend that corner down to meet the crease, so then you've got a shape that looks like this. Two triangles and a diamond in the middle. And look, it's kind of open. What I want you to do with these two flaps, one, two, is to bring them up together. And if you inspect it, it kind of looks like this is a little pocket. We're going to take advantage of that pocket and fold each flap so that it tucks inside. I'll show you. I folded this flap and I tucked it inside. Same with this other flap. I'm going to fold it up and tuck, tuck, tuck it. For this, you can just use your finger, stick it inside and make sure those, those little flaps are way in there, tucked in there. And look what it creates. It creates a pocket that you can put, use as a bookmark. Let me show you a book. If you have this a book and you're reading along, you can put your bookmark right on the last page you read. There it is, it's sitting in there, ready to show you where to start. But once you've got this bookmark, you might want to decorate it and make it into, say, a snake. My grandson and I made these cute little snakes. They're sort of matching. Or you might want to make it into a kitty cat. Isn't that cute? There are all kinds of things you can make. Uh, if you think about it, you could make um, you could make some of those characters from Pokemon, like Squirtle, Charizard. It's really endless. What about Minecraft? What about a little mini one? See the different sizes? This one's a miniature uh, penguin. It's really endless. But let me create one 
so that you understand how you can build on top of the very simple shape that you created. All right, I'm gonna start, my new one is gonna be a monkey. I thought that would be kind of fun. So I started with brown paper, just dark brown paper. I've already folded it into my classic bookmark shape. And now I wanna like zhuzh it up a little bit and make it into a monkey. What do you think it needs? It needs ears, it needs a face, and I kind of think it needs a belly. I don't really like the white showing, so I'm gonna put a different color there. I decided I wanted to make the belly of my monkey into this light yellow color. So I've already pre-cut it, and I've just made it the size that will slip right inside. All I need is a little bit of glue to make that happen. So I put some glue on the back of my yellow and we'll give him a yellow belly. He's a yellow bellied monkey. See? Next, like I said, he needs some ears. So I actually used a little bit of my extra of my brown paper and I folded it and cut it into two little ears. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on those and just match it up to my the side of my monkey head. Let me show you how he looks now. Okay. See how he's coming along? He's got two ears, looking more like a monkey. This tan paper I was able to use to cut a little face and I made eyeballs out of white paper and I used my markers to draw a little face. Now I'm gonna glue this onto my monkey head. I'm only gonna glue it on the top section because the bottom section, we want to leave it open so it can be slipped onto the pages of my book. So I'm only using the glue on the top. Look how cute he is. He needs something on his ears though. I think I'm gonna give him some little tan ears. I already cut the tan out of the tan paper. And I'll use my markers to finish him off with a little bit of hair in the ears. and some eyebrows. There he is. And a nose, a little nose. With just those few added elements, he is now a cute little monkey, ready to hold a page in my book. Here are some close-up pictures of the bookmarks we shared in this video. Take a look and you'll you'll figure out how to create them for yourself. I know you'll come up with your own clever characters as well.